Today, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing my Isotunes Extra headphones. So for a little while now, I've been looking out for some new hearing protection. I've been using those rear uh, ear defenders, which are great, except they don't really work when you've got a visor on when you're wood turning. They both get in the way of each other and it's uncomfortable. So I've been looking for something that's in ear or at least something that doesn't have that problem. You can buy small little buds and you can get them off of Amazon and what have you and they just poke in your ear and they're great, they work. However, they have one disadvantage and that's while they cut out all the noise, they don't do what these do. Now, when I saw these at Maker Central a few weeks ago, I was really intrigued because these are exactly that. These are earbuds and you poke them in your ears and they block the noise. However, these have got a trick up their sleeve, and that is that these are also Bluetooth, and that means that you can play music through them. So as well as music, of course, you could listen to podcasts and, and all of that, anything you want. These also will allow you to take a phone call. And you can even have it so that when you take the phone call, there's noise cancelling built into these that means you shouldn't even need to switch off the machinery you're using in order for the other person at the other end to be able to hear you and not the machinery. So I reached out to Isotunes and said I was really interested in these and they said, brilliant, here you go. Have a set to have a go with. And that is what I'm doing to do today. I'm gonna to unbox them, show you what you get in the packaging, talk to you a little bit about the specifications. Then over the next few weeks, I'm gonna try them out and I'm gonna see what they're like. And then I'll come back in this video and I'll tell you what I think. So to start with, Let's have a look at some of the specification. So of course these are rechargeable and they have an eight hour battery life. They have 27 NRR, NRR. Now I'm not quite sure what that stands for, but I think it's something to do with the amount of decibels that it drops from the noise around you. As I said, they have the isolation for when you're on your phone calls. They're certified IP45 for dust and water, which means they should be pretty good in a workshop. They also have what's called Safe Max, which limits the volume to only 85 decibels, so you don't inadvertently blow your ears up listening to music instead. And as I said, they're Bluetooth 4.1. So, these are the extra. They also do a pro version. Um, they're slightly different, they have a slightly longer battery life. Um, but I think eight hours is absolutely fine for when you're in the workshop. So let's open the box and let's see what's inside. Okay, so to start with, let's take out the insides. Oh, something here. Okay, that's all packaging, we don't need that. Okay, so we've got the headphones themselves and some spare earbuds. There's a little bag here, let's see what's inside that. All right, so there's an instruction book. There's a little attention stop sign. Let's have a look at that in a second. And there's a USB cable, because of course these charge through USB. So what does this say? This says, attention, do not throw away. Questions or concerns about the product before returning it, please contact Isotunes directly for specialized support. Okay, fair enough. And they provided the details of how we can contact them. So of course this little bag also is gonna double up as a carry case for them so I can put them in there when I'm not using them. I'll put that to one side for the moment. So what have we got here? Well, let's see if I can tease it out of the packaging. All right, so these are the headphones themselves and you could probably already notice that these are magnetic. And that means that when you've got them around your neck, because this is how you wear them, around your neck like that, it means that they can clip together and they're not going to fall off and they're going to stay put, which is a really, really good idea. So on the, what have we got here? On the headphones themselves, we have got, there are the two big bits here and these contain the batteries. One of them got a small port on it, which is for the USB cable. Now I have taken the liberty of already charging these because they does take a little while. And then here we have a 
volume control by the looks of it. It's got a plus and a minus, and it's also got a, I think, what's either a call answer or an on off button. And then lastly, we have a little bag which has got lots of spare earbuds in, and I think they're all different sizes as well. So depending on your ear size, you can choose the right ones for you. And I know that there are spares of these available to buy from Isotunes. Okay, so I've just had a little look at the earbuds, and there are two different types. There are the silicone one, which are these uh, sort of funny shaped ones. And there are these ones, which they call their Trilogy. Now the Trilogy ones are designed to give you maximum ear protection and maximum sound quality. So they're probably the ones that I'm gonna go for. So you need to choose the right size buds for your ears. I'm going with the medium, because uh, they seem to be the most comfortable in my ear. The way that you change them is you just simply unscrew them and screw them back on. To insert it in your ear, just squish the foam together and poke it in. Just like that. And what will happen is the foam will expand out and it will fill your ear canal and then you'll get the noise blocking. And of course these work, you don't have to have them powered on, they still work to block all the noise. So now I'm already protected. I don't need to switch them on at all, like I said. Um, I can't hear very much, it's pretty quiet. All I can really hear is my own voice, which sounds weird, um, but it always does when you do this kind of thing. Sort of sounds like you're underwater. Uh, but I can't hear any other noise, and they're, they're pretty comfortable. So anyway, let's get on with setting them up with the music. Okay, so let's see if we can um, get them paired to my phone. So I've got my Bluetooth switched on on my phone, and I'm open at that screen. And apparently all you need to do is switch it on by pressing the middle button. So I can see the little LED light here is flashing. Hopefully you guys can see that as well. So I'm now gonna press scan on my phone. So my phone will now be looking for another device. Right, so now I've got the available devices appeared in my phone. Clicking pairing. It's now come up and said that it's paired and I've got a couple of messages on my phone to warn about listening to music at high volumes, but that says it's now uh, paired and it's also telling me that the battery's at 100%. So let's put them in my ears and see if I can get some music to play. And there we go, that's now playing and I can hear that through my ears and I can adjust the volume on my phone and I can also adjust it where I can find it with a little button on here as well. So that's it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try them out for a couple of weeks and see how I get on and I'll let you know. So I'll see you in a second. Right, well it's been several weeks now since I unboxed these. In fact, it's about three months. So I would say I'm pretty well qualified now to give you an honest opinion on what I think of them. Firstly, let's talk about the audio. The audio is spot on. Uh, yes, it's not the highest quality, it's not the sort of thing you'd expect to get out of a 10,000 pound hi-fi system. But A, why would you expect it? And B, why would you need it? You're in a workshop, there's lots of noise, that's the whole point of them. The quality of the music you get from them is absolutely outstanding, considering that that is what they're for. So it's a real positive for me on that. I like the fact that they go around my neck. Um, the only thing I do get a little bit caught up with sometimes is when the magnets clip up and it kind of gets a little bit twisted, but it's a minor inconvenience. The fact that I can wear these underneath my face shield or you know whatever else I'm doing and they don't get in the way, I can means I can be routing, using the table saw, anything which is really noisy, and they're super comfortable. I do a lot of resin work, as you know, and I do a lot of sanding when I'm doing resin work. And it means I can be still at the lathe sometimes for a couple of hours with the extractor on, with the with a fan going maybe, with the lathe spinning, and it's all really noisy. And I can put these on and I can wear them for hours without really noticing. Battery life, yep, yeah, great. I charge them every night. When I finish in the workshop, I put them on charge and I've not had them go flat on me yet. I have been in the workshop for a whole day on over the weekend, and again, they've lasted. You don't have them on continuously, so the eight hours, I think it is, that you get is more than enough. I have discovered, though, that my ears are odd shapes. I've actually found that I need to have a small one and a large one, and that's how I get the most comfort out of them. The only negative thing that I've got to say about these, in fact, there are two negative things I've got to say. 
First of all, let me just address the phone part. Now, there's supposed to be noise cancelling when you're on the phone. I've done several experiments with it and had machines running while I've been using these with a phone, trying to take a phone call. And the person at the other end has said that they could not hear me, it's really loud, it sounds awful, as you would expect if you're using your phone. So I can't recommend them for that feature. The other thing that I've struggled with is because they're foam and because they go in your ear, they get wax on them. I have particularly waxy ears, so maybe this is just something that I suffer with. But then what happens is I take them out and I tend to put them down. They then, these then attract dust and they get covered in dust. And then I put them back in my ears. So what I've started to do is to put them back in the bag. Now to be fair, it comes with a bag and you're supposed to use the bag, but it's just something to bear in mind. Don't just take them off and hang them up or put them on the bench. Make sure you put them away. Um, also, as I said, they, they do get a little bit waxy and I'm not gonna show you a close up of that because it's a bit disgusting, um, but it's fine. It's only me wearing them. If someone else is gonna use them, you'd change the ear, the ear bits over anyway. So overall, um, for the money, they are brilliant. For the noise defense, they are brilliant. For the music quality, they are brilliant. I think that's a win for me. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found that this review has been useful. As I say, I do recommend them. They're definitely worth having and definitely worth keeping in the workshop. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again soon for some more videos. Bye for now.